Hello friends, welcome to Score More Aptitude channel. Uh, in the previous video, we have seen the derivation of the possibility cases if the given statements are in the form of all A or B and some A or B. Okay. So in this video also, I am going to be show you the derivation of some possibility cases based on the given statement. If the given statement is in the form of some b are not a some b are not a so if the given statement is in the form of some b are not a the possibility cases we can derive are all a are b is a possibility all a are b is a possibility okay first i will write all the possibility cases we can derive from this statement and then I will show you how we can justify those derived possibilities. Okay. So the second one we can derive is no A or B is a possibility. Is a possibility. Okay. And then no B or A is a possibility. No A or B is a possibility, then we are reversing that one. No B or A is a possibility. And next, some B are not A. So some B are not A. Ne. Some B or A is a possibility. If some B or A not A, so then some B are going to be A. So that's why some B or A is a possibility. If some B or A, so then some A or B, some A or B is a possibility. Is a possibility. If some A or B, then means that means some A or not B is a possibility. If some A or B, then some a or not B is a possibility. So these are the six possibility cases we can derive from the, the statement that is some B or not A. Now we will see how we can justify this possibility state. Means we can derive from this given statement. Okay. For example, some B or not A. So if I take this one as a B and then this one as the A, some B are not A. Obviously, this statement is true in this case. Okay. So these are the some B are not A, right? Not A. So if you see this one, so from this same case, which is satisfying the given statement, but actually from this when diagram we can also derive all a or b is a possibility so that is what actually all a or b is a possibility from this when diagram and it is going to be true so that means actually we can derive this first possibility and the given when diagram is also satisfying the statement given and from this when diagram and we are deriving all a or b is a possibility Okay, and next it is given that no A or B is a possibility and no B or A is a possibility, reverse of these two. So, for example, if I take this one as a B and if I take this one as A, okay, so some B are not A, obviously some B are not A, okay, from these two, I mean, if you consider this one as a single Venn diagram. So from this, some B are not A. Obviously, it is satisfying the given statement, right? Some B are not A. Some B are not A and satisfying the given statement. So from this Venn diagram, we can say that some no A or B is a possibility. Obviously, no A or B is a possibility. So that means actually this one also we can derive, right? 
So if some A are not B in the same manner, some B are not A is a possibility. That is what no B, no B or A is a possibility. If no A is a B, then no B is a A. So that is what no B or A is a possibility. So this is also going to be true. Okay. And next one, it is given that some B are not A. So if I take this one as a B and this one as a A. So this is B and this is A. So if you say it is given that some B are not A, obviously it is satisfied. Some B, these B are not A. Okay. So that means this Venet diagram is satisfying the given statement. So from this, what we possibilities we can derive? It is given that some B or A is a possibility. Obviously, some B here or A is a possibility. Some B or A is a possibility. So that means actually this one also we can derive. This possibility case we can derive from the given this statement. Okay. And next, some A or B is a possibility. Obviously, some B or A, then some A or is also B is also possibility because of this common area. Okay, so this possibility is also we can derive from this statement and this statement is satisfied in this Venn diagram. Okay, and some A or not B is a possibility. Obviously, if you consider take this part, so some A or not B, some A or not B is a possibility. Okay, so these three types of Venn diagrams actually satisfying the given statement. And using these actually three Venn diagrams and we can derive these possibilities also. Okay. So I hope you got this one. And another important one is if we got no conclusion. So if we got no conclusion from the given statement. So then any possibility is true. So any possibility is true. Okay. So in the... Uh, previous uh, videos I have uploaded under the section of syllogisms I have taught one rule there that is sum plus sum implies no conclusion sum plus sum implies no conclusion so if no conclusion means actually there any possibility cases is given if the given two statements are in the form of sum plus sum so whatever actually possibility cases are given in the conclusion they are going to be true they are going to be true okay so i hope you got this one so thank you very much for watching this video if you have any doubt please leave a comment and please subscribe to my channel thank you once again